Hey, stranger. Did you hear anything about the rebels in Nemora? What do you want from the rebels? Some of them were here a few days ago. I would have loved to go with them. I'm tired of working on the farm here. Living in freedom is better than being a slave to the orcs. What do you know about Nemora? Nemora is a rebel camp to the west. Those guys up there are really well organized. I heard that the rebels raided Farman's farm. So what? They never harmed me. I see. Do you know where Nemora is? Well, I've been there before. I observed them for days, but I never found the courage to show myself. I wish I had now. I wouldn't try again to go there by myself. I will accompany you to Nemora. You would do that for me? At last. Forget the farm and all. A rebel's life for me. Do you think they would let me join? We'll see. Okay. Let me know when we're leaving. Let's head for Nemora. All right. Follow me. I hope you know that I'm not much help in a fight. In that case, you should run faster. That's it. We're here. I really hope the rebels will let me join. Thank you, stranger. Here, take this for your way back. May Enos protect you. That's just going to cause more trouble. You're blocking my light, pal. You're a really tough customer, huh? Wouldn't mess with me if I were you. What are you doing here? I'm waiting for something to happen at long last. Hiding from the orcs in this hole gets my dander up. You're not the leader of Nomura, are you? Leader? Me? With this bunch of bums? Thanks, but no thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very glad that I caved into my suspicion that something was wrong with Audacity. Uh, I'm really glad that I got to uh, notice it before we get really too invested into everything here. So for the first eight minutes, probably just going to be a sped up, post-com kind of thing. Nope. But um, now we're back to live commentary. So what I was wondering was, I don't... I don't really remember if Nemora gives you any direct support in taking down Trellis, but these two guys here, they're sort of like brothers in arms, and they would both be very eager to join you, but I don't know if you still need the approval of Nemora's leader before you can take these guys with you. How about we go smash Trellis to bits? Ah, a man of action. I like it. I'll come with you if the boss doesn't object. You really should become one of us. And how do I go about that? Talk to our leader. It's that simple. And you won't tell me who it is. So that does prove it. Uh, these two guys, they are part of the rebels in spite of the fact that they act like they are trying to do their own thing solo. So they will not do anything without the approval of the leader of Nomura. What's up? I'm waiting for someone to call us to arms. Basically, I do what Finley does. He is my comrade in arms. Are you the leader of... Forget it. I'm doing my own thing here. I'm not involved in anything else. And for some reason, you still need the approval of the boss. Show me your goods. He is a weapon seller. Nothing really 
special here. It does have these two blueprints if you want them. And, uh, well, there's quite a few more people down here. A lot of freed slaves and Kipler, eh? Greetings, stranger. Come and find your place in our community. Some things will never change. What are you doing here? I'm a fighter. I am concerned with the safety of Namora. Tell me more about Namora. This place is the only serious bastion of humans that is left in this part of the world. The castle of Trellis lies to the east, not far from here. The pass to Verant is in the south. If we're not careful, we'll soon be slain by orcs or enslaved by the Hishishan. Welcome to our rock and our hard place. Why are you looking so worried? Lately, we saw a troop of orcs in the devastated farm east of here. They have come dangerously close. Somebody must eliminate their leader before they find our hideout here. I will take care of the orcs on the devastated farm. That's good. But be careful and don't let any of them catch you from behind. Still, I don't like it at all. Are you the boss here? I could tell you who our leader is, but I would have to kill you afterwards. No stranger must know who's boss here. It's too dangerous. Maybe we could talk about it again if we knew you better. Show me your goods. So basically, even if you help these guys, they won't tell you who their leader is. You have to get 75% reputation here, which is obviously pretty standard. So uh, helping them all will get you to that point, but even though they say, you know, if, you, if I get to know you better, I'll tell you who our leader is, they're just lying. The leader will only reveal himself once you've had... 75% reputation. And here's a mage. Ah, a visitor from afar. Welcome to Namora, friend. You are a fire mage? A mage searching for the ancient magic. Like all former fire mages, friend. Teach me. What are you doing? I'm looking for an ancient recipe for a potion. Unfortunately, I can't get the ingredients right now. I should have known. Isn't that typical? What ingredients do you need for your potion? I need the rare herbaceous lobelia. I discovered some up in the west where all the monsters roam around. But I'm not crazy enough to tangle with the beasts myself. I'll get you the herbaceous eobelia. <laughs> that is commendable. I need five of them. But don't let yourself be eaten, all right? Now that's actually a um, a what would you call it? Just just an error in reading the script by Crispin Freeman, who voices the hero in this game. Uh, he read the L as a capital I for some reason, and he does that repeatedly in this quest. Whereas this Trezlock guy, he continues to refer to it as Herbaceous Lobelia. The hero keeps calling it Herbaceous Eobelia. And he's the the hero seems to be the one that gets it wrong because it does look like a lowercase L to me. Who's the boss here? In order to learn who leads Namora, first you'll have to secure the trust of the important people. How much do you know about the ancient magic? Mm. I have already learned a great deal, and one thing in particular. Ah, so here's I another one. A fire chalice. Unfortunately. I have no one to whom I can entrust it. It must be taken to Nordmar, you see? I will take your fire chalice to Nordmar. You would do that? Hmm. A tempting offer. But first, I need proof that you are strong enough, and I can trust you. Nordmar is awfully dangerous, and the chalice mustn't fall into the wrong hands, you see? I understand. Alright, so for some reason he doesn't sell anything. I'll turn back around. Right, whatever. Uh, so the herbaceous lobelia, or, yeah, lo oh, lobelia, is up by where the fossils are. We'll be grabbing those later. There's a fella down here. Hang your step here. If you break anything, I'll be in trouble. Your name seems familiar. Who's the boss in Nemora? Nobody's told you so far, huh? Then I most certainly won't either. Do you sell this stuff as well? 
Actually, I'm only supposed to guard these things. But if you make me a good offer, nobody needs to know. Hey, Is that so? Maybe you're also interested in learning some thieving skills. For a price, of course. Nothing in life is free. <laughs> Isn't sure. that typical? So he's one of the thieves. He has the um, bandits equipment. Sells some Hashishin swords as well. And uh, nothing really useful. I'm going to take the lock picks, even though I guess I don't really need them right now. So if you want to. Now, what was I trying to remember? There was something about something with something going on, and you need... Fuck. What was it? Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if we're going to be able to do the skills. Picking pockets, these skill 10, 40 for difficult. So we can do that. Oh, we don't have any learning points. Basically, I I had to look up a walkthrough, or not really a walkthrough, but just some questions uh, to find out how you get the magic ore tongs as part of the, um, the Sword of the Elements quest. And it turns out you can only get them by pickpocketing Ingvar. You might be able to get it from knocking him down, but I just don't dare to try that. Farman claims you raided his farm. Uh, what? Uh, I don't know anything about that. Some rebel you are. Instead of fighting orcs, you're stealing from harmless peasants. Shh, not so loud. Here, this is the gold I took from Farman. You can have it. Uh, if the boss finds out, he's going to feed me to the orcs. So, that's that's how you uh, get the farman's rent money, since he couldn't pay it before. So, that's just some small recompense for the 50,000 gold you get to Vok. Actually, I didn't really, uh, when I was in Trellis, it was, wasn't when I was recording, but I talked to the Hashishin ambassador, and... I, my memory is that uh, he says he will tell you something about the... He'll tell you how to get the um, Divine Artifact if you ensure that Vok can pay back his debt. And I ensured that Vok could pay back his debt, of course, and when I went back to him, to the Hashishin guy, he... Hmm, he didn't really mention it. I mean, he... He's, he's, I mean, he made the, okay, let me try and clarify what I'm trying to say here. He's supposed to tell you, or he's supposed to say, oh yes, you wanted to know where the artifact was, and then you tell him you, you already got the artifact, obviously because you get it for giving Vok the money. And um, from there, what's supposed to happen is that the Hashishin says, well, I don't want you to go away empty-handed. So he gives you uh, just a more generic artifact as a reward. For some reason, he didn't even he didn't even offer that. So I never got an actual reward for completing that and ensuring that Vok had the money. And it's just kind of irritating. I must have missed a dialogue option somewhere and just kind of screwed myself out of it. Tell me the name of your leader now, or else what will you do? File a complaint with our leader? <laughs> Just think about it, you weirdo. You seem to think you're terribly clever. Uh, I'll show oh, you. Uh, 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 oh, uh, Deal with it. Alright then. Let's continue to talk to the fools here. What is that popping sound? I don't know if that's my headphones or if that's part of the game audio. Hello, duds. Hi, I'm Dudley. I take care of provisions and supplies. You're the quartermaster. How is the supply coming? We need valuables, goblets, plates, no matter what. 
I see. You're dealing with hot goods. Well, perhaps one could call it that. I've got customers in the desert. Some of those wealthy bastards are really into shiny dishes. Is there anything in particular that you need? We rebels always need one thing or another. Our last battle with the orcs left everything in shambles. But there's one thing of which we never have enough. Weapons. Weapons. About ten bundles of weapons would help us a lot. I don't know if you're right about that. I will get you some weapons. Right. You should probably go to Trellis. The orcs have stashed a whole lot in their stronghold there. We need ten bundles of weapons. Here you, Here you are. Ten bundles of weapons. That's excellent. Here, have some of our gold. Do you know where I can find some artifacts? Have a look around the temple in Trellis. They say that Kamek the Shaman is carrying some amulet that enhances his magical powers. Ooh. That should be worth a bunch. Show me your goods. And he carries the armor and some uh, heavier weapons. If that is what you seek. He sells the heavy hunter armor. Interesting. That is expensive as dick, though. Are you oh, that was close. Here? Wouldn't you like to know that? Sorry, but I cannot tell you. Tell me who the boss is here in Namora. Well, it's not me, but I cannot tell you who is. You will have to try your luck elsewhere. Isn't that typical? Alright, nobody or nothing of importance in here or over here. Just some caves for the people to uh, hang out in. But over here is a cave that leads further up to the next tier. Just some fools in here, nothing special. And uh, here's a big boy wearing the heavy militia armor. Welcome to Namora, stranger. We can really use a strong man like you. If he goes on like that, we'll never get you it. need more people? We definitely still need a strong man to stand guard on the lower entrance to Namora. If we don't watch out, the orcs will overrun us in the end. If you meet anyone you think might be right for the job, bring him here. How can I help? You could lend us your strong arm. A caravan of Hashishin has recently settled where the pass to the desert begins. They say that the desert merchants were all killed by snappers. If we hurry, we could still recover the goods from the desert. I will recover the goods from the desert. All right. But watch out for the snappers. They're still bound to be in the area. Are you the boss here? We do not reveal the identity of our leader to just anyone, my friend. If the orcs got wind of who they have to kill for Nomura to collapse, he'd be a dead man. I see. In that case, it makes more sense to me to have multiple leaders. Which it seems like you do have. You have a quartermaster, you have an alchemist. Um, I mean, maybe not. I don't really know the roles here, but... Yeah, it would make more sense to have... You know, more than one person capable of fulfilling the same job, just so... Things don't capitulate once uh, your leader falls. You've got a name. Watch where you're going. It's dangerous out there. Just what is so dangerous out there? The north of Namora is populated by monsters, brother. The worst are those big, snorting ones. Don't get too close, or they'll eat you, bones and all. I'm an experienced Yummy. hunter, and I wouldn't go up against those beasts alone. I will kill the snorting monsters. <laughs> You've got your work cut out for you, then. Here, take these healing potions. You'll need them. The beasts are tough. Are you the boss here? I'm not going to tell you that, stranger. Fair enough. So the snorting monsters are the monsters of the typical variety in this game. The uh, big, essentially giant snappers. But they look kind of like Tyrannosauruses. They're awesome ripper beasts. These are not what he is concerned about. Not one bit. But I can one hit him in the face now. That is awesome. 
I believe there are three monsters. There's two. And uh, there are a lot of snappers out here as well. Thankfully, the monsters do not aggro with the snappers, so you can deal with them uh, separately. Ah, I thought I got him in the face. Alas, not. Alright, big boy. Oh no, I'm gonna blast the snake. That was a waste. Hmm, it was not that effective. A few headshots with these will probably do as much. Yep. So it's better to use those. And of course, the Herbaceous Lobelia is up here. But uh, I don't think there are any in this direction. That was the furthest to the right. The rest will be all around that fossil in the little valley there. Where the rest of the monsters are. There are two of them. I don't know if they aggro together. But I got my work cut out for me if they do. And yes, they do. I guess it's not that difficult. They're slow enough. Oh yes. Oh bloody yes. Got a lot of meat on these boys. Nothing special in there. There never is. If you want to, you can jump up on the uh, plateau here. I don't know if there's really anything special around there. I'd say I've probably, over the course of many playthroughs in this game, I've probably explored most things, most areas. But I don't really hold a strong memory of a lot of ones, just because if anything didn't stick with me, I just never really bothered to explore it again in future playthroughs. Now, was that all five? I wasn't really keeping count. Yes, okay. Most good. Uh, actually, let's just head back in the same way we came. Alright, my friend. The snorting monsters of Nemora are history. Sounds, that's good news. Zounds. That means we can finally relax for a change. I think that earns you a share of our gold, stranger. Thanks. Tell me who's the boss here, now. Not me, at any rate. I'm not allowed to say any more. Bugger. Alright, down we go. Talk to the mage. Here is your herbaceous Eobelia. This is truly fantastic. Truly. Hope the beasts up there didn't trouble you too much. Here are some potions as payment. Tell me who the boss is here. Talk to the others. It isn't me, friend. Give me your fire chalice. Very well. I shall entrust you with this precious artifact. I hope it reaches my brethren in the monastery in one piece. We shall see. And that's that. So what does that make it? Ten? No, it makes it nine. Alright, well, off the top of my head, I think I said before, I can only remember where two of them are. But well, we are going to find them all. It's, except for one of them in Varent. It's kind of hard to miss them. Teach me. So, can I learn both of these? Yes, I can. Teach me to pick pockets. Creating a diversion is essential. Involve your victim in a conversation. You wouldn't believe how carelessly some people secure their purses. Often, you can just pull them from their pockets. Teach me how to pick difficult pockets. No problem. You have enough talent for that. Basically, you don't have to do anything other than what you've done in your earlier thefts. Distract and grab. Look your opponent straight in the eye. Most people find that unpleasant, and it distracts them. Then grab. It's worth it. 
And that's that. It's always been an interesting idea of how you pick people's pockets in this game. The idea that you, you know, you're looking them straight in the eyes, you're stealing them and stealing from them, and I somehow don't notice. Now, I don't really remember in, um, in Gothic 2, it was important that you upped your dexterity, because you could... Picking, picking pockets was a single skill, and in order to pick more difficult pockets, you needed higher dexterity, which would improve your chances of success. And I don't know if that still comes into play in this game, because in, in all three Risen games, picking pockets was not even possible if you didn't have the skill. Your character would just straight up say, I'm, I can't do that. So I, I know you can still fail and get in trouble in this game, but I don't know if it depends on your thieving skill, or if it depends on just the rank of uh, pickpocketing skill you have. Because if your thieving skill does have an influence, and it could just be that there are certain more difficult pockets that you cannot pick. Like, you just have an instant failure if you don't have the skill for it. But, um, it's still only a chance, and I just don't really know. I can't, I have no idea how to actually look into that and figure out how they determine your success or failure. So we just saved. I'm going to see if I can pick his pocket. And I got it. Excellent. The Magic Ore Tongs. So we are on our way to creating this majestic weapon. Now, I got 25 experience for picking his pocket there. And if the mechanic works the same as, as uh, it did in... Gothic 2, then what happens is the amount of experience you get for each pocket successfully picked uh, increases every single time you, uh, each successive time you pick someone's pocket. So, you know, the difficulty of the pocket does not matter. It's just, you know, your first successful pick might get you, I don't know, 50 experience. And your 20th would get you 150. Even if uh, the 20th one was a lot easier to pick than the first one, for example. And I just... Uh, I don't really know too well. Uh, there are a lot of deer up here. I just kind of feel like taking a look. Seeing what we got around here. There might be bigger monsters. Don't know if there's any treasure. Well, what is that now? Oh, that's just that fossil. Oh, a whole herd of rhinos. That is a big fucking herd of fucking rhinos. What is up with that uh, orange one? One of them is orange, the rest of them are green. It's kind of weird. I wonder if there's something special about them. Let's see if I can pull this off. Oh god, these ones aren't even hurt at all. Oh, doggy! Yeah, eat it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I knew he'd do that. Bugger. Eat it. And alas, no, there's nothing special about this rhino. That is a shame, then. Well, we killed some rhinos. So, that was fun. Alright, so yeah, I don't really think there is anything over here. This just loops... Well, it doesn't really loop, but... If you go over the little hill here, you end up in the path to Varent, which we will be heading to anyway from another direction. 
So I'm not concerned about it now, but there is a chest over here. And it's a crappy chest. So, overall, very empty area. 